Hey everybody, George Taylor from OnTrack Audio here, except we are clearly not in OnTrack Audio. We are at the birthplace of all things Angela Gilbert. So this is where things are made, designed, you know, upgraded, repaired, the very few times that's necessary. And <clears throat> very excited about this today. This is the rebuild that I've been waiting for for a number of months. Um, and the reason I've been waiting for it for a number of months is because it was complicated and uh, Angela Gilbert's busy. Angela Gilbert's always busy. As, as a matter of fact, Angela Gilbert is holding the camera right now doing this video. Oh. <laughs> this used to be an ELDBD integrated amplifier. Okay, It had a switchable tube section so you could go add the tube in or Take the tube out. Could you actually add, take it in and out? You're switchable, right? Yeah, it was switchable. So my memory is working still so far. What we have done, because the it also used to have a class D output stage, and that failed. And unfortunately, the parts are not available to, to fix that. So I obtained this and it has been turned into something much, much better. This is now an ELD AB. The power output is approximately 130 watts per channel of class AB. We've kept the tube, but what we've done is we've, as you can see, we have an adjustable dial here for the tube, and we have an adjustable dial here for the solid state. So we have a tube input gain stage, and a solid state input gain stage and a master volume and also three channels single ended inputs RCA inputs um, and I've been I've been I can't tell you how excited I am over this because es essentially what has been done here is this amplifier has been about 80% gutted maybe a little bit more a new power supply, a dedicated power supply, an outboard power supply has been built over here and in the funky sort of industrial power supply chassis, which I love, which I think is awesome. It's so cool. And now we have, to all intents and purposes, what I guess what we would, what we would, we would relate to as a, a junior I810 integrated amplifier. It's got, it's got the same input stages. It doesn't have as big a power supply. But if you come around the back, everybody come around the back. <laughs> Just in case we want to turn it into a full on 810 or take it even a little bit beyond that, we have options here. So, first of all. No, no, not so bright, not so bright. Not so bright? Yeah, oh, yeah. for like oh, yeah. You know what, oh. call, the, call the lead gaffer. Okay, you hold it. Yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to come over here first, actually. Because this is the, uh, this is the, this is the T1 jack. Yes, it is, because I can see where it says 400 volts. So we can add power supply capacitance to the tube stage. We can add power supply capacitance over here to the solid state input stage and we can add power supply capacitance here with an FCF module to the output stage. So we have tube stage jack, solid state stage jack, output stage jack. We can do that with three separate modules or we could do it with one big module that would be designed, well, we could design it into a number of different types of chassis. Um, possibly we could put it even in one that would be the same size as this so they could be stackable, but maybe not. It's, that sort of depends. This is a funny size chassis. Um, we also have on the back three single ended inputs. We have a preamplifier output for a subwoofer, which this particular client has. And then we have also, obviously we've got the um, speaker outputs, speaker terminals, the binding posts. So, um, I've heard a little bit of it. It, it sounds, it, I, I mean, I just, you know, we don't have time today for a full on sound demonstration. I mean, I've heard the, I've heard the I-810 before, so I, I mean, I know what that's all about. And I am, I'm, I'm just super excited. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to get this home and throw it on a couple of pairs of different speakers that I have sitting there right now. And I'm, I'm really, really happy, A, 
that it's finally done. Happy for my customer. And B, I'm, I'm just I'm pumped to hear it because I know it's going to sound great. I know I can tell from what little I've heard already that it sounds wonderful. So um, this is why are we taking the video? Well, first of all, I mean, it's a cool project. Second of all, just a reminder, if you've got older class D blue circle things that are no longer functional, you don't have to toss them. We can we can make things happen with them. We can make some really cool things happen. This is about the third or fourth project now that we've done with older class D stuff. Well, sorry, that I've done with older class D stuff. And they've all worked out really, really well. So, you know, if it's if your class D module, if the power if the power output stage is gone, we we can help. We can do things. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to do a video on this. I'm actually also going to post a picture or two of what it used to look like before it looked like this, which is kind of black and stealthy and sleek, and I love it. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Am I going to put link on uh, your video? Oh, you should put links. Yeah, you should put links to our... You know what? Let's do that. Instead of reciting and spelling things, why don't we just put links on for the websites, for both your website and my site, and email addresses. Yeah, not that. I'm talking about oh. your, your music video. Oh, my music video. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll send you links for that. I link on that so I can put it in the description. I think that's a great idea. And the third reason of doing the video, I need to get Costco hot dog. Oh. You know, How many hot dogs uh, if you get, get okay, this, you know what? If you get lots of views on this, I'm getting a Costco hot dog out of it too. All right, go, we go for pizza and fries. All right. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye.